Hey guys, sorry it's so late tonight to do this meal prep, but life happens over here in the holler. Just waiting on some people to get on here. How's everybody doing tonight? That was the oven letting me know it was ready. I didn't want to wait once we got started. So is anybody on here? If not, I'm just going to go ahead and do the meal prep. and Y'all can just watch it on the replay. Okie dokie. Alright, well the first thing I want to do is I want to do one of the simplest things that you can do for a meal prep. And that is roll-ups. Okay, roll-ups are super simple. But they're great to have, especially like this week when I'm going to be traveling. We're going to be driving in the evening. It's like a six-hour drive. So I'm going to do some roll-ups tonight. And then I'm going to do some cream cheese green chili chicken. It's kind of like the chicken that I made the other day, but it's made with cream cheese. And I'm going to add a little mozzarella to it. Hey, Becky. I'm going to add a little mozzarella to it to up the fat content to make it a little more keto because with the ricotta cheese it didn't have a whole lot of fat and you always want your fat to protein ratio to be two to one so that's what I'm going to do there and then the last thing I'm going to do tonight y'all see my cast iron skillet sitting out I'm going to do a steak because I have not eaten <laughs> and I've had several people ask me exactly how do I do my steak so when the chicken comes out of the oven, then I'm going to do the steak. So I'm going to do the roll-ups first because they're the simplest thing. And then I'm going to turn around and do the chicken and get it in the oven. So here we go. Let me grab my Italian seasoning. say let me grab my Italian seasoning but I'm not seeing it anywhere it must have been one of the ones that blew off the counter the other night it was there it is I've heard that it's really snowing up there hey Brianna so this is something that I will probably fix for Friday since I will be traveling and driving because it's just something super easy that you can stick in your cooler bag. Oh, well, thank you, Bree. It's another Bales special, I think. I think I got it at Bales. I'm not sure. But now I've left this cream cheese sitting out so that it would get to room temperature. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. It may not be room temperature because my kitchen is cold. When I came in here earlier, I turned one of the eyes on the stove up just a little bit so that it'd warm up in here. But you see, I've got two boxes of cream cheese. One is for the chicken. And then the other one we're going to use right here to do the uh, roll-ups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out some parchment paper. And I'm only going to do one so that you can see how I do it. Because it's just not that difficult. But I want y'all to see how it's done, okay? So, you're going to get your cream cheese and open it up. And what I have tonight is deli roast beef. Yeah, I know it's going to be super cold, Brianna. I keep my coat in the car, so I should be okay. I hope so, anyway. Let me grab me a tiny mixing bowl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a spoonful of cream cheese. 
Well, it's 22 here tonight. So it's pretty cold here too. And I'm just going to take that one spoonful of cream cheese. Because I'm only doing one right now. It would depend on how many you were doing as to how much you used. And then I'm going to use some Italian seasoning and just add that to my cream cheese and mush that up. Now you could, yeah, this is going to be fun because this cream cheese is not warm. You know what I'm going to do with that other box of cream cheese while we're talking? I'm going to set it on top of my stove because it's warm. All right, so you see how I just mixed that in there and just got that cream cheese mixed in? Yeah, I saw that. Hey, Joshua. I saw that on Facebook a while ago that you were doing that. Now, y'all, I've got my trusty trash bucket here. And I'm just going to cut this cucumber and peel it. And I'm one of those people that I peel about half the cucumber off when I'm peeling. I'll be super honest about it. So how has y'all Sunday been? And y'all see over there in the background, y'all see that bag sitting over by the oven? Y'all, that's this week's giveaway. It's, it's nice. It's a good giveaway this week. And I have a whole thing of check-ins. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see who wins this one. I'm going to show y'all what's in it once I get the chicken in the oven. Alright, so just peel your cucumber. I need to sharpen my knife. I need to sharpen all my knives. I've just about got everything together to redo my kitchen. But I've got to get me, I want to get me one of those magnet bars to put above my stove to put all my knives on. I think those are so nice and I want one of them. Y'all know why y'all be here on Thursday. I'm so excited. All right. So, here's cucumber. I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to cut it into small spears. So, I cut mine into four. You know, just cut it in half and cut it in half again. There you go. And I'll make more of these later but I'm only gonna do one on the on the video so there's those and then you're just gonna take and I washed my hands before I started y'all hi Kim so I take my roast beef And I like to use two slices so that it makes it a little bit longer. And lay that roast beef out. Alright. And then like I said, I'll make some more of these later. I'm going to put that back in there and that'll go back to the refrigerator. But to be real honest, y'all, I think my kitchen's about 40 degrees. <laughs> And then I'm just going to take that cream cheese mixture, and it's just cream cheese and Italian seasoning. And I'm going to take that, and with a spoon, I'm just going to spread that out. Now, I will tell you that on roast beef, it'll tear you roast beef pretty bad if you're not careful. I use my fingers a lot. And I don't worry about getting it spread way out, because you're going to roll it up. So I've got that there, and then I take one of these cucumber spears, stick it right in the center. Let me wipe my fingers off here. Y'all see my new towels? Aren't those cute? And look, pot holders, oven mitt. Oh, I'm just excited, y'all. I've got new stuff. All right, and then I'm going to take some pink salt and just throw some pink salt across there because you can't eat cucumbers without salt. And then y'all you just roll it up. Fold it over and roll it up. That simple. 
that's it. Every bite will have a goodie. It's got all that good stuff in it, and it's delicious. And that right there, y'all, is how we do our roll-ups. I'll make a bag of those. Probably have three or four of them in my work bag so that when I take off on Monday, or Friday, sorry, when I take off on Friday, then I'll be able to just munch on those as I go down the road. Now, since we put that roast beef on this piece, we're going to get rid of that piece of parchment paper and get us another one. Because now we're going to work on the chicken. Now, y'all saw the pictures from where I did chicken earlier this week, and I did it with ricotta cheese. It was because I didn't have the other stuff to put together that day, but now I do. I have the cream cheese, and I have the green chilies, and all that good stuff. So, what we're going to do, and what I may do is put the cream cheese in the microwave for just a minute to make it easier to stir, just because... You want to be able to stir it up good with the seasonings that we're going to put together. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Yeah, Jennifer, they're really good. And, of course, I make them, I take a thing, I ranch dip with it. And, I dip every one of them in ranch dip. I don't know if I'll be able to do that when I'm going down the road unless Hannah helps me when I'm driving on Friday. All right, so y'all, since it is so cold in my kitchen, I'm going to take this and stick it in the microwave for just about 30 seconds just so it'll be easy to stir. <laughs> and we're going to get our seasonings together. Now, for this recipe, we're going to need a quarter teaspoon of pink salt so this is a half a teaspoon spoon and so we're just going to do it about half full and put that in there we need a quarter teaspoon of cumin y'all know how i feel about some cumin i like it a lot so i may put a little extra in there oh we're we're excited we're so excited So, are Olivia and Megan on, Brianna? Or are you going to have them watch the replay? Then we're going to need a half a teaspoon, which is this, of garlic salt. I'm using garlic powder. So, just pop the lid off there. And half a teaspoon. I really am sorry it's so late in the evening, y'all. I know that everybody don't want to do this stuff late in the evening, but it's just the way it works sometimes. All right, and then we're going to do a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I believe that's all of that stuff. All right, and I heard the microwave go off. So the next thing we're going to do is open up our green chilies. Now I just got, y'all know me, great value brand, diced green chilies. I got the medium, they also have them in hot. Oh great, anybody else that wants to share, please do. These are super simple recipes tonight, and I'm not fixing much tonight because I'm not gonna be here the whole week. I'm gonna be making food at Brianna's house this weekend. So green chilies. And you're only supposed to use four ounces, but I put the whole seven ounces in there because they provide really good flavor. So there's the chilies. And then our seasonings. We're going to put those in with our stuff. Make sure it all comes out of the bowl. Alrighty, and now we're just going to 
mush that all up together and stir it and stir it and stir it. And I'll be honest, it's not super easy to stir when it's cold and I barely got it warmed up, but we're just going to work at it. Well, they are all more than welcome. And y'all, I found out what happened with the Sassy Keto Nurse and Friends group. The reason that all those people dropped off, it was people that we had invited, you know, whether it was y'all that had invited them or me that had invited them. And they had not accepted the invite yet. And so Facebook was doing a cleanup and they deleted all of them. So I've gone back and I've resent the invitations and we'll see who accepts them and who don't. A lot of the invites were to people who had liked the Sassy Keto Nurse page but had not joined the group. And the group is private. When y'all invite people, let them know that, that the group is private. What we post in the group is only seen in the group. But the Sassy Keto Nurse page is public. So whatever I put on there is for anybody to see. All right, y'all, that's good and mixed up. Now, in the recipe that was online that Pam Sharp had posted that I watched, my mom was actually interested in this and said that she would actually try this recipe. So that's part of the reason I'm making it. <laughs> but... There just wasn't enough fat. I fixed it with ricotta cheese the other night. And even when I figured it up. Hey Tara. I'm about to make some cream cheese green chili chicken. And I made some roll ups. I made one roll up earlier. Just to show everybody how I make them. And then once I get this chicken in the oven. See this bag right here. That's the giveaway for this week, y'all, and it's packed slap full. And so once I get the chicken in the oven, I'm going to show y'all what's in that bag. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to make myself a steak. I have a beautiful New York strip sitting over here that I'm going to fix for myself. Hi, Deanna. Right now we are making cream cheese chili chicken. And it's going to be delicious. Now, what I was saying was it just didn't have quite enough fat in it for me because I like to have at least a two-to-one ratio of fat in anything that I make. Two-to-one to the protein. So, what I am going to do tonight, look what I found at Walmart, y'all. First time I've ever seen it. Whole milk mozzarella block. Oh, I am so excited. So, what I'm going to do, I've got my glass casserole. I'm going to set it out here. We're going to spray it with some olive oil so that my chicken don't stick to the bottom. All right. And then this is the chicken that was left over from where I made that the other night. And then today I got a discount thing of chicken and I'm only going to use part of it because part of it I don't like the looks of. So what we're going to do is the first thing is to take these chick chicken thighs. And the reason I use chicken thighs, y'all, is chicken thighs, I know a lot of people don't care for dark meat chicken. But dark meat chicken, hey, Brittany, dark meat chicken takes on flavor much better than breast do. Now, if you just cannot stomach dark meat chicken, Brittany, hey, Whitney. I know Brittany, Brittany will not eat dark meat chicken. If you just can't stomach it, then you can use chicken breast if you just want to. But I use thighs because they take on flavor more. They have more nutrients. And they have more fat, which is more keto friendly. Okay? All right, let me... Wipe my fingers off here handling chicken. Chew. All right. And the first thing we're going to do with that is we are going to salt and pepper all of that chicken. Mm -hmm. 
And y'all, when I redo my kitchen, I'm hoping to get me an island set up that I can record behind that will make this a little easier than me having to pull a drawer out. Well, the thing is, it's all up to you. Hey, Irene. How are you doing, honey? We are making some green chili cream cheese chicken. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is, but y'all can't see this because I've got that took up right there, but I don't think that's going to work. So let me get my scissors. Are y'all excited about the giveaway this week? Because I am. That bag over there is swept full of goodies to use in your kitchen for meal prep and otherwise. All right. Where's my cutting board? All right, we're gonna lay this mozzarella out. This is 100% whole milk mozzarella, y'all. And I'm just gonna cut some pieces off of it. Nice chunks. Now you could also use the fresh mozzarella balls and just cut them in half. I think that would work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these to the middle of these chicken thighs before I put the other stuff on it to add some fat. Okie doke. So we're gonna cut those. Y'all see where I cut it into chunks? And then I'm gonna cut those in half. All right. And then we're just gonna take that mozzarella and I'm just gonna lay it on this chicken. And what that's gonna create is like a stuffed chicken. Hey, Sharon. It's gonna create like a stuffed chicken, y'all. Now these pieces right here are all stuffed and salt and peppered. That one's a little difficult. He's going to go in the corner. Now I'm just placing this chicken in the casserole so that I can get the other pack open and do the same thing with about four pieces of it. So that we'll have us a whole casserole full of chicken. And I'll get the prettiest pieces because this is the own special stuff. Sometimes the own special stuff, it's special in itself. It's also frozen. Well, that piece won't work because it is frozen. those four pieces. We're going to need one more piece of that mozzarella. Cut in half. Salt and pepper this chicken. Now remember, there's some spices in that cream cheese mixture too, as well as having those green chilies. And y'all, those green chilies add such a wonderful flavor. Even with the one that I made the other day with the ricotta, all I did with it is I just took ricotta cheese, one container of ricotta cheese and a container of the green chilies and mixed it up and I just put it over the chicken. I didn't add anything else and I didn't put any of the spices in it or nothing. And then I put cheddar cheese on top of it. Now I'm going to move this parchment and I'm going to show you what's going on. And see how you just stuff them? You just stick that mozzarella right in the center. 
and it makes for some stuffed chicken. About got too many in there. All right, that piece of part is ready to go. I've got to go over here and wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back. casserole. Hi Lisa. <coughs> Here's our casserole with our stuffed chicken in it. For y'all that's just joining, that's just chicken thighs that are salt and peppered and then they have a block of mozzarella in the center of them. I'll roll one back. See how it's got mozzarella in the center? All right now that mixture of cream cheese with green chilies and the seasonings, we're just going to take that and put it on top of this chicken. Just a little spoonful on top of each one until we see how much is left so that we make sure that everybody gets a serving. I want to be fair to the children's. Speaking of children's, oh, y'all. I am so tired of teenage drama. All right, now we're gonna go back and make sure everybody's got a good dose. Now that I know that everybody's gonna be covered. All right, boy, that that smells good. That smells really good. And so right there, y'all, I've got 10 servings. That's 10 thighs. With a big old chunk of mozzarella in the center and that cream cheese on top with the green chilies and everybody's swimming in yum and now on the video they grated monterey jack cheese on top and i'm not going to do that because i didn't have any block monterey jack but I have sliced Monterey Jack and I figured that works just as well. So I'm just going to put slices of Monterey Jack cheese on the top of this. And y'all see how quick that was. That didn't take but just a minute. Now it takes it about 35 to 40 minutes to cook. So I've got Colby Monterey Jack. Y'all, it's cold in here. <laughs> I should have come in here and turned the oven on and opened the door for a few minutes. All right. I find that if you break it in the middle first, the slices come apart a little bit easier. All right. So we're going to put some Colby Monterey Jack right across the top of that. And y'all, that's ready to go in the oven. That's how quick that was. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to stick it in the oven. And I'm going to set this for 35 minutes. We're going to let that do its thing. Now. Now I want to share what is in the giveaway this week. Y'all, I'm so excited about this giveaway. This one is such a good one. Get all my stuff out of the way here. Believe you can. I know that crazy cat. Being silly. Alright, so this is the first time that I've 
shared everything that's in the giveaway like this but this is how we're gonna do it I'm gonna show you everything so first you're gonna get two flexible chopping mats I love these things you're gonna get a measuring cup set and a measuring spoon set hey Stephanie you're also going to get a clip set. That's because everybody needs a clip set for their pork rinds. Isn't that right? You got pork rinds. You've got your nuts and stuff. You got to put a clip on them. So you're going to need a clip. Y'all know how much I love my tongs. So y'all are getting a set of them. Going to get a pizza cutter because whew, I was going to do the crackers next week but I don't know I may have to do those on next Monday night instead of Sunday because Sunday I'll be driving so I may have to do those on Sunday y'all that crazy cat about drive me crazy <laughs> but either way you'll need a pizza cutter to cut those up so I got those for you for all y'all that love the dressing here's your little dressing cup to take to work with you throw in your lunch bag you can just make some of my ranch dip add some heavy whipping cream stick it in here and you've got your dressing to take with you Got you a pair of skizzers just like mine. Gotta have a cheese grater. There you go. You're getting a cheese grater. And you're getting a brand new kitchen scale. Whoever wins the giveaway this week is really racking up. Okay. Kitchen scale. I'm not done. Get your sassy kid on nurse mug. Along with a sassy keto nurse pen. Because I got to get my name out there, y'all. And then, for those of you that are really wanting to track and just write down what you do and write down every day, here's a little calendar. And it's every day you can write down what you do. It's not as nice as that one that I'm using right now, but hey, this is all you need. So that you can write down what you've ate, how much water you drank, what activities you did that day. So that if you have any trouble, you can get in touch with me and we can go back through it and you can say, well, this is what I did this day. Or you can just take a picture of it, you know, for, the, for that week. Because that's a week at a time, each page. And I would need two weeks of your food journals and you just send it to me. For those of y'all that are not getting this in a bag tonight, you can get these at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Super easy. And then, you know, I was bragging on my new tiles and stuff. Well, guess what? You're getting them, too. You get a set of washcloths. And what it says, it says, a hot, fresh coffee is the best way to start the day. Because that's how I feel. Of course, I wish it said BPC, but it don't. So you get the oven mitt, the uh, pot holders, Two little towels that match and the washcloths so I think that's a pretty good giveaway and we've got a whole cup full this week of check-ins so it's gonna be a good one now then I gotta stick all that stuff back in there. but how excited are you isn't that crazy I've just been kind of getting stuff a little along the line, along the line, along the line, and throwing it in this bag for this week's giveaway. And when I started looking, I was like, wow, that turned out to be a really good one. And by the way, Brittany Ellison, you did not get one of these and you were supposed to. So I will get up with you and get you your tumbler for last week because I forgot to bring it to you. I know, Kim, it's going to be so good. And then your bag. Believe you can. Because you can. Alright, y'all. Let's answer some questions. Because that's going to be another 30 minutes. So let's answer some questions and see what's going on with everybody tonight. By the way, y'all. Let me just show y'all what I'm going to be fixing for myself towards the end of this live. I'm going to wait till the end because I have to stick it under the broiler. Doesn't that look good? 
New York strip steak. <sighs> I love strip steak. Love it. Because you see that? You see that big old strip of fat right there? Oh, and look at the marbling. Somebody's going to get a good one this week. Yeah. Yep, this is a good one. Now, I have been telling y'all that that last one is a big one too. And it is. And I'm going to tell you what it is. I bought the at home 23 and me checks. Now, all it is is just the kit itself. The you actually have to go online and pay for the test that you want done, whether you want the health done or you want the ancestry done or whatever. There will be a gift card included in with the 23andMe check so that you will be able to pay for that. I do not expect you to have to do that if I'm giving it away. So that's what's being given away next week is a 23andMe um, at home ancestry check. And then there'll be a few other little things in with it too. A few. I say a few. You never know with me. I'm going to Fayetteville this week. I may find something in some store over there that I just have to give away. Because usually, y'all, whatever y'all get in the giveaway, I've probably bought for myself at some point. Tara, it's in the Transparency Check-In Challenge. And I have about 55 people that are participating in that challenge right now. And anybody that wants to join it this week, you are more than welcome. I go live every single day. I've done this for the month of January. I've been going live for 31 days, being completely transparent with my followers about what I eat, how, how active I am, and what goes on with me to help people understand how this way of life actually works. And so anyone that is a part of that challenge, if you check in during the day, which means you post in the challenge what you've eaten that day, how you feel, how you're doing, how long you've been keto, what's going on with you. In other words, just check in with us. Just get in there and tell everybody how you're doing. It's all about communicating. It's all about being part of a community. And that right there has been such a blessing to all of us. And everybody that checks in every single time that they check in, they get an entry into the weekly giveaway. And the first week I gave away some keto goodies. Miss Lisa Wall won that one. The second week, I gave away a Hamilton Beach Immersion Blender. And then this week, I'm giving away the Kitchen Kit. And next week, I'm going to give away the Chromosome Test. So, it's been a, a lot of fun doing that. And everybody's had a great time. But the whole purpose behind it was to get people to get involved. And to communicate. And to talk to me. And to share with each other what was going on because I was finding that very few people, I have over almost 400 people in my group, the Sassy Keto Nurse and Friends, and nobody was ever posting anything or talking or helping each other. You go to the Transparency Check-In Challenge on the Sassy Keto Nurse page. And you can join that challenge and start checking in as of tomorrow or as of tonight as far as that goes. Once this live is over, then everybody that checks in after after this live starts, actually. After the live starts, anybody that checks in after that is in the giveaway for the next week. And next week will be my last giveaway because next week will be the end of our transparency challenge. It's going to end on the 31st of the month and I won't be... I won't be doing the meal prep next week until the 30th on Monday, probably, because I'll be driving on Sunday, because I'll be coming back home. So, other than that, that's about how it's gone. Now, my day today, I didn't sleep good last night. I don't know why. I think just teenage drama and got me worried and that kind of thing, just being a mama. And, uh... So I didn't sleep real good last night. I ended up sleeping really late today. And I like days like that. I very rarely get those kind of days. Up until this month, I was working seven days a week between 75 and 80 hours a week. And so to have my weekends off is pretty amazing. And I'm really starting, I'm having to get used to it. <laughs> 
could have been the full moon. Yeah, I saw that today when I was, I didn't leave the house today until almost six o'clock to run to town. I had to go get a couple of things in town and I saw the big full moon and huh, I'm glad I don't work in the hospital anymore. Just going to say that or the nursing home. Ooh, praying for y'all that do. But, uh, so I slept late today. When I got up this morning, I had my BPC. I drank it at about 11 o'clock, and I drank all of it in about an hour. And then today, I have been doing laundry and trying to get things cleaned up around here, getting ready for me to be gone next weekend. I'm trying to get all the stuff done that I need to get done before I go to Fayetteville. I gotta get all the baby stuff together that's here at the house where people have dropped stuff off for Nevaeh and make sure I've got it all together so I can stick it all in the car Friday and head off to go meet my granddaughter. My granddaughter will be here Thursday at some point. Good job, Lacey. If you're feeling dizzy during your fast, please do some salt. You can do salt during your fast. Um, you need to keep those electrolytes up. So even with your water and coffee, you can add some salt into that <coughs> to keep those electrolytes up. You can add some calm. You can do some calm tea. There's no, there's no uh, calories or anything in that. But make sure that you're keeping those electrolytes up because that's probably what had you feeling dizzy. But excellent, 22 hour fast and a 23 and a half hour fast. You have no idea the benefits that you are reaping for your body. We talked about them last night in the live. You see me put my hands in my pockets, it's cold in here. But it's just amazing what you're doing for yourself. How's everybody else doing? So anyways, I did the laundry and cleaned up around here and got that kind of thing done and still had couple things I had to get done when I was planning on doing the live at 6 30 and then realized that it was almost six o'clock and I still hadn't gone to town and I needed to go to town to get green chilies and I needed another block of Kerrygold and what else did I buy while I was in town hmm oh I had to get me some more coffee because I was out of coffee I would use the last of it this morning and so I ran town and got that stuff and come back but I have not eaten, so that's what that beautiful New York strip is for, is I'm going to fix that here in just a little bit. I've had several people ask me how I make my steak, because I've told everybody it takes less than 10 minutes to make my steak, and it's delicious, and I'm very super happy with it, and so I'm going to make that tonight on the live, towards the end of the live. But, since nobody's asking questions, anybody got questions? In the cream cheese and chili, I put in a quarter teaspoon each of cumin, pink salt, and black pepper, and then half a teaspoon of garlic. I used garlic powder. And then you do a can of chilies, and then I did the, monor, or the mozzarella, the whole milk mozzarella. I cut it into blocks and put a piece in each chicken. I salt and peppered the chicken before I did that. And then covered it with the cream cheese and chili mixture and then put Monter Colby Monterey Jack on top. Oh, it smells delicious. I know that. My mama actually said that she would try this. So I'm making it and I'm going to take some of it over to them tomorrow. So with y'all, how, how, how do y'all's families feel about y'all being on keto? Have y'all had any trouble with that? I got a message today from someone that was really concerned. They work in a hospital in ER, and some of the nurses there had warned them about doing keto because it makes your blood so acidic. Okay, let's straighten that out. You know, I told y'all last night that was the message I got last night when we were doing the live. All right, keto, eating the ketogenic way does not make your blood acidic. Ketones, yes. I have not done it, Deanna. And the reason I don't, I'm kind of like Carrie Brown. I don't do the, the macros for everything 
because unless you use the exact same ingredients I do and the exact same amounts as I do, then they're not going to be the same. So I ask everybody to figure their own when you make it so that you know exactly what your macros are. Because if you use even a teaspoon more of anything than I did, whether it be cream cheese or Monterey Jack or if you shave your Monterey Jack. Hey, Jessie. Y'all, this is my oldest daughter, Jessica. She was my accountability partner when I started this. And, Becky, that's not true. Read the cholesterol code. Or just Google keto and cholesterol. There's a ton. In fact, I'll post some tonight. I'll make sure to post some links tonight about cholesterol and the myths of high cholesterol on keto. Because it is not true. Your cholesterol numbers, your total cholesterol will go up. I will tell you that. But the reason is, is because your big fat molecules, your big fat cholesterol molecules will go up. But that's okay. It has actually been scientifically proven that higher cholesterol in later age prolongs life. This is, they're not going to come back and say, hey, y'all, we were wrong. We were wrong. This is this is not the way it is. Okay, so what you want is you want that HDL to go up. You want the triglycerides and the LDL to come down, if any way possible. You want those ultra low, the um, LDL and the triglycerides, and high HDL. HDL is your healthy triglycer or your healthy cholesterol, and the reason that your triglycerides need to be low is because those are super easy. Those can get into your brain and into your cells. They can cross the blood-brain barrier. With LDL, the we have always thought that it was total LDL. Hey, Amanda. We've always thought that LDL, it's always been called the lethal cholesterol. Well, the truth is, is that there's two size particles of LDL, and they do not do a breakdown of that if you get a regular lipid panel done. You have to ask for a fractionated lipid panel to see the particle size for your LDLs. There are small particle LDLs and large particle LDLs. Those large particle LDLs are of no harm to you because they cannot get into your cells or cause problems, and cholesterol does not cause plaque in the arteries. Sugar and carbohydrates do. The tiny, the little LDLs, however, are bad. And so you want to keep those really low. But if you eat a ketogenic way of eating, you're going to be fine. What I was saying about ketones, these nurses had told her, your blood's going to be acidic, it's super dangerous. Okay, ketones are a form of acid. They are, an amino, they are a form of amino acids. But... The only time that your blood is going to become acidic, in other words, ketoacidosis, the only ones that are at true risk for that in the ketogenic way of life are type 1 diabetics. The reason is type 1 diabetics do not produce insulin. So if they forget one insulin shot, if they eat a meal and they forget one insulin shot, then their blood sugar can jump it can spike. And the only way for ketoacidosis to happen is for both the blood glucose and ketones to be high in the bloodstream. Now also for type 1's, when they get sick, their blood glucose can go high. That's fine. I'll be broiling my steak probably at the very end. And I will give Brianna a big hug. Thank you so much, Candace. You guys have a nice night. Be careful driving. She's up there where it's really snowing, y'all. But, so I told her, I gave her all that information, and I told her, the thing is, is that as a nurse, if you had asked me 18 months ago about ketones in the blood or urine, I would have had that same response. I would have been like, oh, Lord, no, that is so dangerous. But over the last 18 months, I have done the research. I have read the medical papers. I have talked to keto-friendly physicians that understand ketosis. And I have learned the truth. And to get that truth out there, the only way we're going to do that, y'all, is by doing this. 
by being a community, by sharing this information and education with those around you. Now, I understand when you're in the workplace, especially if you work in the medical community, y'all don't go to arguing with everybody around you because that's not worth it. If you don't want, just tell people you're doing low carb, you know, because you don't want to lose friendships over this. You don't want to cause drama at work, that kind of thing. But when you are informed and educated, then you can turn around and you can say, okay, this is the truth. This is how it really works. This is the way that cholesterol works. Read cholesterol code. I have a couple of links to other things that I will post tonight for everybody to take a look at. Y'all, it's just, we were taught wrong. It's time that we all stand up, we all start telling the truth. Because y'all, as you lose weight, and your skin clears up, and you're in a great mood all the time, and you're clear, and you're in, I mean, just completely different person, people are going to ask you what you're doing. And it's all up to you. Me? I don't care. I'll tell them. I do keto. I'm a sass keto nurse, and I handle a business card. <laughs> but that's because I know the education. If they start arguing with me, I have the education and the science to back me. And I am happy to share it. <laughs> but you can start out by telling people, well, I do low carb. I cut all the carbs out. I don't eat anything white except cauliflower, white, chair, white cheddar. Hey, Sarah. That kind of thing. Because I'm telling you, 18 months ago as a nurse, I would have argued you to death that this way of eating would give you high cholesterol, you'd have a heart attack, you'd be at risk for stroke. But it's just not true. My, my blood values have completely turned around. My cholesterol is well within normal limits. My blood pressure is that of a teenager. And I'm still overweight. I'm still very overweight. I'm, I still have about 75 pounds to lose. Yay, Sarah, way to go! I don't know how in the world you lost any weight, though, girl. You ain't got no weight to lose. <laughs> she tiny. She's a nurse, too, y'all. But, <laughs> so, we're down to 12 minutes on the chicken, y'all. So, y'all ready for a giveaway? All right, we're going to share one more time for everybody. <gasps> Well, you're going to lose it all right back. Now, I'm telling you, it's not about the weight loss. I teach everybody, and my philosophy is, the ketogenic lifestyle is about the healing that occurs at a cellular level in the human body. It gets rid of inflammation. It gets rid of depression, anxiety. It changes the entire outlook. Your hormones are balanced. That is where it's at. The weight loss is just a side effect. But that's all anybody ever sees, so that's the reason everybody starts. But then they're crazy surprised when everything else starts turning out so great. But that's the way that goes. All right, so y'all, one more time, I'm going to show you what's in this giveaway, and then we're going to do it. All right, first of all, your Sassy Keto Nurse Tumblr, because trademarking and all that kind of good stuff. Sassy Keto Nurse Pen. Ow! My cat just scratched my foot. He's not getting no attention. You're going to get some scissors and some tongs and some measuring spoons, measuring cups, cheese grater, pizza cutter, dressing cup, calendar to keep up with your daily food intake, Brand new kitchen scale. Woohoo! You're gonna get some flexible chopping mats. And then you're gonna get all of the lovely towels and oven mitts and all that kind of stuff that I have here in the kitchen. So, get my bucket. <laughs> you aren't in the check-in challenge, Jesse. <laughs> but all those folks were. All right, so I'm flopping them around, flopping them around. 
get them all mixed up. Gonna pull one piece of paper out. Not even looking, y'all. One piece of paper. Kim Dowdy Williams, you just won this week's giveaway. Kim Dowdy Williams. And you sure deserve it, girl, because you check in every single day. I'm so excited for you. Kim, are you still on here? Kim, if you're still on here, make sure that you get up with me and let me know how to get this to you. All right, let me get my Ziploc for this week's check-in. Now, the one thing about next week's check-in is next week's check-in will include every check-in for the month. So all these for these first three weeks and everyone that checks in this week will be included in next week's check-in. And I think what I may do for that final giveaway, the big giveaway, I think we're probably going to do it on Monday night when I do the, the meal prep after I get back from Fayetteville. So next week's giveaway will be on Monday night. So you have from tonight until next, a week from Monday at probably 7.30, 7.30, it's usually 7.30, 7.45. Do those check-ins, y'all. Get yourself in for the giveaway for that week. It's going to be a 23andMe chromosome check and then some more goodies. And you just never know what kind of goodies I'm going to end up putting in a bag. So... Since we're down to eight minutes. Now y'all see my cast iron skillet sitting there. Hey Andrea. Hey girl. I ain't seen you in forever. Maybe I'll get to see you while I'm up there this coming weekend when I come to see Brianna and love on my baby. Otherwise I'll be there about every weekend for a little while. Because I'd love to see you again. Alright, so y'all, for my steaks, I use that cast iron skillet. That cast iron skillet lives in my oven all the time. I wipe it out when I'm done with it, you know, but I don't wash it with soap and water because that's no good. You don't do that with cast iron. But here's the thing. These steaks are super simple, okay? just gonna do it in the cast iron. All right, y'all, I take my cast iron skillet. I take some Kerrygold butter, because it's the best tasting butter there is. I really ought to contact them about giving me a sponsorship, don't you think? Because I sure do, I sure do advertise them a lot. All right, and I take that Kerrygold butter about half a tablespoon, about a quarter inch slice, and I put it in my cast iron skillet. Then I take that, what's giving you a hard time, Andrea? All right, now I'm gonna turn that on, I'm gonna put it on eight. So not super high. Timson, get out from underneath my feet. And now he's tore down my curtain. Darn cat. You're letting all the heat out of my dining room. Stupid cat. I hope you step on that tack. Oh well, it's just gonna have to hang. All right, now, we're gonna let that sit there so that that cast iron skillet gets good and hot. Okay? I want it good and hot. Andrea, I have tons and tons of recipes, baby. Join Sassy Keto Nurse and Friends. Like and follow the Sassy Keto Nurse page. Go over and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And go to my website. 
www.sassyketonurse.com. I've got tons of recipes. If you have trouble, baby, you let me know because I'll help you out. That's what I'm here for. All right, now, y'all, I'm going to do two more big slices of that butter, okay? Because as this gets hot, now, this is when I use my tongs. Tongs. And I guess y'all figured out that I don't use nothing but paper plates. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this right here, New York strip steak, because we're down to four minutes, and so I'll be able to use it. All right, and we're going to take that strip steak, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it right on top of that butter, and I'm just going to move it around so that, that butter's up underneath there. All right? And then I'm going to take all I use on my steak, y'all, is salt and pepper. But I love pepper. So I pepper it really, really good on this side. And I give it a generous coat of salt. And then what I do is turn this heat up to about nine. And all I'm doing is braising. Just searing that steak. You just want to brown each side of it so that it holds all the juices in, okay? So I'm going to sear that one side there, and I'm going to flip it over. Now, y'all see how it's just browned. It's not cooked through. It's just barely browned. You're just browning that side of it. And then I'm going to pepper the tar out of this side. Salt it. Do y'all see how I get all my salt in every day now? Y'all can hear it. So I turn it over and see that side's nice and brown. So now what I do is just the edges. Turn it up on its edge. Let that side sear. Then turn it up on the end. Now I wait and do that fat side last, y'all. Because I don't want to render that fat. And if you've got some spots that are still blood red, go ahead and give them a little press so that you get it seared. And then do that fat side last. Press them down on the meat end. All right. Now, I'm going to turn that heat off. And I'm going to use my little oven mitts here, or my pot mitts. And I'm going to set that right over there because I don't want it on that heat. I don't want it to cook in that heat. But we're down to 45 seconds. 45 seconds on our chicken. And oh my goodness. That do look good. It smells really good too, but now all I can smell is this steak. Now when I put this in the oven, I'm going to turn the oven off from my chicken, okay? And then I'm going to put it on broil high. I'm going to set that cast iron skillet just like it is, except I'm going to put a pat of this butter on top of that, that steak. Tell me that does not look divine. <coughs> now I'm going to let this sit 
right there. I'm going to turn my oven off. I'm going to put it on broil high. Then I'm going to take one piece of that butter, that little slice. I'm going to take that piece of butter, and I'm going to place it right on top of that steak. I'm going to take that other piece, put it right on top of that steak. Okay? I'm going to stick this in this oven under broil on the top shelf and set this timer for four minutes. I like my steak medium rare, so it's, it's bleeding a little when I get done with it. If you like it done more than that, you can do it for five minutes. When it gets to that four minute mark, we're going to flip it over and I'm going to do it for three minutes on the other side with two more pats of butter. And that's going to be my steak. I don't know. Jesse, who's, who's on here? John who? And Andrew, what Sarah was saying about it passing, the self-control comes when you start to realize the benefits. You have to find your why, honey. You have to know that you're doing this for yourself, not for anybody else. You're doing it for you. That is the whole purpose of this way of life, is to turn yourself around and to take good care of yourself so that you can then turn around and take care of those around you. Because as a mama, I know you give of yourself every day. You're a military wife. You're an army mom. And you give of yourself every day. You sacrifice every day for everybody around you. This is all about you. Put yourself first. And every day when you start to make a bad decision, when you start to have no self-control, reach out. That's what Sassy Keto Nurse and Friends is here for. That's what the Sassy Keto Nurse page is for. Reach out. Just post it on there. Guys, I'm at so-and-so. Oh, okay. Hi, John. I'm Jesse's mom. But reach out. Just post on there. Y'all, I just took the kids to Chick-fil-A and I am dying for a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Hey, Ann. And I promise you, there's people that's going to jump on there and say, no, Andrea, don't do that. Instead, do this. Or there'll be somebody who has some advice for you. Or if you mess up, baby, just forgive yourself and the next bite, do it keto. Because you're going to mess up in the beginning. You're going to have oopsies. It's going to happen. But if you turn around and you say, hmm, okay, I messed up, but I'm just going to keep on going, it will get to a place to where you can control it. Now, the thing is, is that once you start feeling so good, then you don't want to cheat. Then you have no desire to cheat because once you're fully keto adapted and you cheat one good time, anybody on here that's had that happen? You feel like crap the next day. Just saying. And then you'll, you won't want to cheat again. <laughs> Plus, it takes away that, it's almost a buzz. That's just the truth. It's almost a buzz. Now, hear my little beat. We're down to the last minute on that side. And I know y'all can't hear it, but it's just sizzling away in there. It's going to be so good. And so this will be my only meal tonight. So what I'm going to have... Yes, those cravings go away naturally. If you stay away from sweets, stay away from fruit and sweets and that kind of thing. Get away from the diet drinks. Drink water and coffee and maybe some tea. If you're going to do tea, do like the Celestials teas. Or you can do unsweet tea if you can handle that. I can't do that. I'm a southern woman. If I'm going to drink tea, it's going to be sweet and I can't have that anymore. Alright, so y'all can see me, right? Turn y'all just a tiny bit here so that y'all can see me. We're getting down to 654. So now I'm going to pull this out. And normally I wouldn't take it out of the oven, y'all. But for y'all to see it, I want to see. Y'all see how that butter has cooked into that steak? Now I'm going to take it, flip it over, just like that. 
And then I'm going to take those other two pieces of butter and lay right on top of it. Put it back in here. We're going to reset that timer for three minutes. So with my steak tonight, I'm going to have cream cheese on top of my steak. And I'll probably do a good chunk of cream cheese, which will be a couple, probably about a tablespoon of cream cheese on top of it. And then I'm going to microwave me some broccoli and put butter on top of that. <laughs> I will post the recipe, Sarah. I do not know. Um, it's 10 servings. It's 10 pieces of chicken, 10 pieces of mozzarella stuffed green chili chicken. But I will post the recipe on Sassy Keto Nurse tonight. And everybody has to figure their own macros. Because yours will be different than mine. You know, I didn't measure when I cut that mozzarella up. I just cut it up and put it in there. Because I'm like that. So when you do it, if, you, if you're measuring real close and you're trying to stay real strict... Then you can measure what you're doing exactly, put it into your tracker, and that way you can figure out how many, what your macros are on, on each serving. Now, at the beginning of the live, we did a roll-up. This is a roast beef roll-up. Y'all, it was super simple. I'm going to cut it in half so that you can see the inside of it. I don't do pickles. Most other people do. Yes, this is the one Donna wanted to try. That's why I did it, Jesse. So this is how I do mine. I don't do pickles. I do cucumbers because I don't eat pickles. But those of y'all that like pickles, they're perfect in a roll-up. All it is is two pieces of roast beef, um, a tablespoon of cream cheese with some Italian seasoning on it, and a salted cucumber. I do two, maybe three of those for a meal. So I did those at the beginning, then I did the chicken, now I'm doing the steak. It's down to its last minute, so here we go. We're about to do this last minute of it. Let me get my, get me a slab of this cream cheese cut off. So that I can put it on my steak when it comes out. And then, y'all, I will melt some butter in one of those little glass things, and I will dip every bite of steak I take in that butter. And there it is. I'm going to do one tablespoon of butter because we cooked it in two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to stick that butter in the microwave. And here we go. Where'd my... I'll put them up there. Heaven's face. Look at that. It don't get no better than that right there, y'all. So now I'm going to take my tongs. I'm going to place that steak on the plate. Not everybody loves cream cheese as much as I do, but on a steak, it is absolutely delicious. Put me some cream cheese right there. Set that butter right there on the plate. And then I'll microwave me some broccoli here in just a little bit. And I sear it in a... Hold on, let me turn that roller off. Yeah, I stepped on you because you're in the way. I seared it in a cast iron pan in butter 
on each side, salt and pepper at each side, and then I put it under a broiler on high for four minutes on one side and for three minutes on the other side. And right there she is. Perfect. Perfect, y'all. So it literally takes less than 10 minutes. And it's absolutely delicious. It's a good fat to protein ratio. I'll do that broccoli and add it in. And that's what I'll have for dinner tonight. So that's tonight's live, y'all. That's this week's meal prep. It wasn't as in-depth as some of the others because I'm not going to be here through the weekend this week. Because <laughs> I'm going to see the baby. So congratulations to Kim Dowdy Williams on the giveaway. If you're not on here, I'll send you a message here in just a few minutes and let you know that you've won so that we can figure out how to get that big old bag of goodies to you. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow night. Anybody here that's not in the transparency check-in, I go live every night, usually between 7, 7.30, somewhere around there. Depends on what time I get home from work. And we have some info and question answering and that kind of thing just to check in and see how my day's gone because I am being completely transparent for the month of January. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. Those of y'all that are in the snowy areas, please stay warm. Drive careful. Keep yourself sassy. Keto on. Sassy Keto Nurse, signing off.